go with the tail of the tape on this middleweight showdown. And there you go, Cook the more experienced, six and six, but all is by way of KO as well. Then you look at Byrne, five and zero, big, big KOs, but look at the height advantage of Cook. Will this tell in the end? We're going to find out now with our MC, Mr. Buddy Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, we get ready for three five-minute rounds in the professional middleweight division. Battle 22, welcome to the new age. And it is in first. Fighting out of the little corner, a kickboxer, standing six feet, three inches tall, and weighing at 186.6 pounds. He has a record of six wins, six losses, and zero draws. Representing next generation Northern Ireland from County Andrew, Northern Ireland. So, Chris, listen to that crowd. Mark Woodard having to tell Paul Byrne, you go back, you go back. He's that keen to start. And so are this crowd here. Both these men, huge support. Two high-caliber strikers that only know one motion, and that is forward, Malcolm. And the low kick from Byrne. I was going to say. Malice. Yeah, look at that beautiful Muay Thai technique. And more importantly, the balance in defending the takedown there. Yes, Cook then chops with his own leg kick. And look at the way he steps in and switches up to close the distance, then pumps that inside leg kick. You can already see a little bit of a redness on the inside of his opponent. Great Ooh. start for Paul Byrne, but nearly gets clipped with a spinning back fist. That skimmed his nose. Well, you did say that Connor Cook said, I'm going to stay there and trade with him. And so far, he's doing just that. Paul Byrne believes he's just in a different universe as far as his striking pedigree. But what makes this interesting, few would dare to stand with a guy like that, except for, of course, Connor. Well, look at Connor's left leg already at the thigh level, Chris. Reddened already, throwing, like a tenderized steak there. Throwing caution to the wind is to Crook, but, you know, Paul Byrne has looked a little bit vulnerable off his back in some previous performances, but it's defended the takedown supremely thus far. He's got a will to win that just never seems to be broken yes, in his and career. Yes, he's stalking Cook as well, and uh, as you said, Connor, to his credit, he said, I'm going to stay in the pocket, I'm going to stand and trade with him. And so far, that's exactly what he's done with the left hook, right body shot landed, then that chopping kick to the left thigh once again of Cook. And twice, just following up, throwing single kicks, but eats one in a counter. Nice outside round kick from De Crook. But Connor's going to have to start checking those, Chris. This early in the bout, to have your leg like that, he's really going to have to start checking those kicks. And I think standing in the pocket is a mistake against the guy who's got probably a power advantage. Man, look at that. And you know, you didn't hear the smack, but you felt the thud. I could feel it all the way through the table here. That said, there's a small cut on the forehead of Byrne. And Cook, you heard the crowd's response as he stepped, as you said, into that pocket again. So impressed with De Crook so far. And he's getting some better variety this far. A little bit more movement, staying on the balls of his feet. Yes, he's finally starting to get that leg. Oh, oh suddenly, he oh, switches oh. up. The low leg kick, the low leg kick. And then he switches up to the high head kick. As it's you the said, perfect sucker punch, Chris. It was perfect. The entrance on that was continually to the legs, but then he flipped upstairs. What a performance for Paul Byrne. High level striking. Such a proficient guy with those techniques. And Connor cannot believe what's transpired here at Bama 22. Paul Byrne from Dublin, Ireland. What handiwork from this guy, and the crowd roars with approval. You can see the way he went, pumping that kick all the way over the guard. And you know, credit to Connor Cook, he had his hands up. He was watching out for him, but the way that Paul was able to get that leg up, let's take a look at another angle here. You'll see he went to the leg, and then boom, here comes the big one. Kabang! Flushed to the temple, the toes curling around behind the head, separating. Connor Cook from consciousness. And Paul Byrne jumping on the fence, embracing his fans, goes 6-0 here in Dublin. It's Bama 22, ladies and gentlemen.
great show of sportsmanship from the SBG team member. But he's walked away, preserving that undefeated record. Phenomenal performance. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. This crowd ended two minutes, six seconds of the first round. Your winner by TKO in the red corner, Paul Burns! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm stood here with Paul Byrne. He was five and zero. He's now just made that six and zero. Paul, oh, what a stoppage. Uh, I'm a good striker, but uh, I always knew I had uh, power to stop him, and it was only going to go one way. I'm on a roll here. Well, we saw that you targeted the leg, low kick, low kick, low kick. Here we go here. Yeah, that, that was the idea. Like, keep, keep it low, keep it low. He's going to keep. He's going to think I'm going to keep keeping it low, and then switch to the head. Now, to be fair to Connor, he said he was going to stand and trade and stay in the pocket with you, and he did. Yeah, he caught me some good shots, you know, and a few good kicks I could feel him, but uh, there was nothing there going to stop me. There was only one way this fight was going to go. It was too important. Now, with that finish, you've just defeated a man that, as you know, his last fight was a title shot. Is it your time now? You never know, you never know what's going on. There's uh, another event here in point, you know, the, UFC, that's what I want. Well, Paul, there's a lot of people here that think it is your time for a title shot. We'll have to see. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Paul Byrne. So, can I just uh, dedicate this fight to a friend of mine who passed away last night? Michael McGann's name.